Hey guys, going on? Megan here. One of the number one causes of your low testosterone or your inability to maximize testosterone is you don't have the proper macronutrient balance between protein, carbs, fats, and obviously fiber. Some are eating too much protein, too little protein, too much carbs, too little carbs, not enough fats, too much fats because there's too much confusion in the fitness industry about what maximizes testosterone as far as macronutrients go. So Every time I look at the blood work of clients or people that are complaining of low testosterone, first thing I ask them is to see their diets always. And not only they're deficient in micronutrients, but they also have a completely off-balance macronutrient ratio. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys the importance of each macronutrient really quickly. And I'm going to give you guys the correct answer to this poll. First, let's read the comments, see what everybody else is saying. And then I'll give you the correct answer and explain the mechanism of action as always. And trust me, guys, once you fix your macronutrient imbalances, you will feel the increase in testosterone. Not only you'll see it in your blood work, but obviously you'll see it on your hand grip strength, which is obviously the number one best predictor of androgen status and testosterone levels. All right, so let's look at the top comments. Uh, let's see, guys, enough with the soy and tofu jokes. They're getting old. Um, so let's see. Damn, bro, you got the most educated and jacked subscribers. Sure makes me proud. Let's go. Uh, meanwhile, some smeagol doc. <laughs> Meanwhile, some smeagol doctors selling everyone to eat tofu and watch the cholesterol. Um, hi, Megan. Guys, doctors have... Anyway, I, I, have, I have so many rants on doctors that, you know... Let me just stop. I mean, I've been following since I was a little small boy. Oh, shit. You remember Dick Towers, Jack the Uncle, Crazy Line? Wow, wow. That's that's crazy. You definitely OG subs. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to be somewhat of a man. This was only possible due to my low-fat, high-fiber diet. Seeing as when I added at least four eggs every day, my T-levels improved and upping my healthy. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Honestly, all you really need is chicken, broccoli, and rice. That's how I did in the 90s, baby. That's a good joke. Um, let's see. Me and my apologies. We covered this in your early videos, but a lot of studies saying those who eat red meat like beef have lower testosterone and those. Uh, guys, I'm going to make videos about all this, right? A lot of these studies are complete trash right they're correlational studies I, I made a reddit post about it so go read it but yeah i will make videos explaining all the studies that show negative outcomes versus positive outcomes it's just it's, it's a matter of confirmation bias right the ones who want to prove that saturated fat or cholesterol is bad for you hyper focus on the studies that show um bad outcomes from meat and obviously the ones that have an agenda to to promote that are going to keep uh you know going down a rabbit hole but if you look at once again the totality of the evidence uh it Red meat is amazing for you. Eggs are amazing for you. Saturated fat and cholesterol, yes, believe it or not, are good for you. The, the only issue is the reason why so many studies show that saturated fat intake and cholesterol, uh, you know, di high dietary cholesterol leads to heart disease and, and atherosclerosis is because most people that eat a lot of meats, a lot of saturated fats, a lot of cholesterol, don't eat enough fruits and veggies and antioxidants. Right? They also have higher body fat on average. They exercise less. They eat a lot of processed foods. So, of course, if you just look at the correlation, they're going to be associated with a lot of negative health outcomes. But if you focus on people, if you look at studies, right, that look at people that eat healthy, that eat balanced nutrient diet, right, their fruits, their veggies, their exercise, um, and then they eat saturated fats, and then they eat eggs and cholesterol, they are fine, guys. Again, I'm going to make a whole video about that if you want. It. The funny thing is the studies are out there. It's just... Ego kicks in, right? All the experts who are bashing cholesterol and dietary fat all these years are too embarrassed to go back and say, oh, shit, we were wrong, you know? And that's the issue with the fitness industry, with the medical industry. It's expert bias. It's just egos get in the way of the truth. They'll rather have you guys die from outdated information than put their ego aside and say, oops, sorry, we were wrong. I mean, think about it. Imagine if you sold books or if you make a living. And for the last 10, 20 years, you've been preaching that fat is bad and eggs are bad and red meat is bad. And now the bulk of the studies come out showing that you were wrong. You think those people are going to go back on their word and say, oh, look, I was wrong. Uh, sorry, I just made $10 million from selling books and giving out shitty information for 20 years. I, I give you your refund. Oh, uh, oh, sorry, your grandpa died because of my shitty advice. Your grandma died 10 years ago because of my shitty advice. You, you think all these doctors and these experts are going to go back and say, oh, we we're wrong after they've caused the death of so many people, you know? You know how many people got diabetes and, and, and heart disease, ironically, dementia? I mean, so many issues because they took our eggs from the diet, they took our meats, and now they became deficient in carnitine, choline, iodine, CoQ10, ALA. I mean, I could go on and on, you know? 
But uh, but anyway, so let's see. All of them are important for tests, except fiber. Da, 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 da. Everyone should already know by now how important fats are. Vince Corona was a huge supporter of eating egg yolks for high T levels. I would say both protein and fat, assuming the protein source is high in zinc and cholesterol. Being trying really hard to get all guys enough with the soy jokes. Carbohydrates can potentially help. Da, 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 da. Carbs can potentially help to, uh, wait, what? Can potentially helping um, to down the level of stress hormone, da, 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 dopamine, da, da. none of these forced alcohol it make you big as fuck. You know what I mean? Can you post the answer to the quiz as well? I mean, I go over the answers in the video, so. Uh, fiber, obviously fiber is essential, da, 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 da. Okay, that's too long. Oh, that's way too long. Um, we can only eat da, 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 eggs, da, 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 da. Good fats, which is monosaturated fats. Um, monosaturated, you mean monounsaturated. Um, how much meat is too much in a week a day? Watch my video on red meat and testosterone. No fat, no testosterone. I remember cutting all fat out of my diet once when cutting, and I literally, be <laughs> I literally became asexual. Felt kind of good not being ruled by my libido, but once da 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 da. da. Uh, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a comment on this soon. I don't care. I eat soy and watch TikTok all day. I hope he's proud of us now. Eggs. I mean, I didn't give the correct answer yet. You know, we'll see. Eggs, eggs, and again, eggs. Fiber. Um, let's see. Baki will be finding the way. Unlike Smigo. Shout out to them small. Da 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 da. How it has to be carbs. Uh, wait. Shout out to them small niggas buying protein to learn for the cool and find for free. Yeah. I mean, I tell everybody all the time. You know, Reddit in the Discord. You know, the book is just to support the channel. You know, in fact, my subscribers recommended me to come out with a book. You know, all my information is free. So, you know, the book is literally. A summary of all my free info so if you can't afford the book or you don't want to support the channel get the free information from my videos the articles the reddit whatever uh you guys not believe in free education all right uh has to be cause because uh da, da, da. trade question the actually you know, is milk, milk good for testosterone i already answered that so many times um <laughs> megan you're doing fiber to laugh at them coolest niggas some of these dudes and i pay to the videos you should look at the hydrogen water da, da, da. um duck eggs <laughs> Oh God, that Michael Hearn, man. Uh, healthy fats, uh, so, uh, so uh, da, 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 da. protein levels over nine thousand, vitamin S, <laughs> um, fat fat equals cholesterol equals testosterone. All right, so let's see. Uh, bacon is good for me. Boom, egg yolks all day. Cholesterol, sugar, all of them. Soy. Uh, all right, so let me give you guys the correct answer. So let's see, 17% voted protein, 5% voted carbs, 76% voted fats, 2% voted fiber. The correct answer, drum roll, is C. It is fats. And that's why I put assuming you're already eating enough protein to stay alive, because obviously, you know, protein is the most important macronutrient of all, just for life in general. Uh, if you don't eat enough protein, you just die. You know, it's that simple. You know, your genes cannot, your body cannot transcribe and translate genes without amino acids. So protein is at the foundation of everything. We know that. But as long as you're getting enough protein to be alive, right, the most important macronutrient for testosterone production is by far fats. Again, obviously, saturate, and that includes saturated fats, monounsaturated fats, and a tiny amount of polyunsaturated fats, right? Again, inverted u curve for everything, right? You don't want too much saturated fat or you're going to have less room for monounsaturated fats. You don't want too much monounsaturated fats. Or you're not going to have enough room for, obviously, saturated fats. And, of course, polyunsaturated fats, you want a very, very small amount of that, right? If you, if you eat too much, the inverted U curve for PUFAs, right, polyunsaturated fats, it's so narrow, right? You do not want too much of those. In fact, that's one of the causes of low testosterone is we eat too many polyunsaturated fats, right? Too many seed oils, vegetable oils, and, you know, I can make a video explaining why that destroys testosterone. You know, as far as lipid peroxidation and, you know, oxidative stress, inflammation, blah, blah, blah. But long story short, dietary fat, as long as you're eating enough protein, is the single most important macronutrient for testosterone production. Your body cannot make testosterone without cholesterol, guys. And there are many, many, many reasons for that, right? Your body needs fats to absorb micronutrients, especially the fat-soluble vitamin. You know, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, all of which play a massive role in testosterone production. So the moment you lower your fats... First of all, your vitamin absorption goes to shit. Number two, your body needs fats to make bile, right? Because your body makes bile from cholesterol. Without bile, now digestion suffers, right? Uh, it's kind of like a circular situation because without bile, your body cannot digest fats. And without enough fats, your body cannot make enough bile. Number three, without fats, especially monounsaturated fats, your body is going to be inflamed like a mother effer, right? Your body needs monounsaturated fats to lower inflammation. 
Number four, your body needs fats for the cell membrane of many cells, including cholesterol, by the way, right? So your body needs fats just for structural reasons. And number five, as you guys already know, your body needs cholesterol to make all of your sex hormones, right? Not just testosterone, but DHEA, estradiol, pregnenolone, progesterone, and obviously testosterone, estrogen, which is made from testosterone, DHT, blah, 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 right? Even cortisol, right? Which obviously you need, you know, we always bash cortisol, but you also need it to survive. Your body needs cholesterol for all of those crucial hormones. Same thing with calcitriol, right? Vitamin D. Your body cannot make vitamin D from sunlight, of course, right? Without uh, cholesterol. That's why whenever people go on a low-fat diet, one of the first things that you see within weeks is their testosterone goes down. And sure enough, if they have a hand grip tester, a dynamometer, they'll see the hand grip goes to shit. So long story short, the most important macronutrient for testosterone production is fats. All right, guys, don't forget to like or share the video, subscribe and hit the bell, and buy my HSP Nucleus of a Low Training Program. It's the ultimate program for maximum muscle growth. It includes full body workout splits, bro splits, push pull, home workouts, you name it. Also comes with a complete guide for macros, nutrition, fat loss, muscle growth, hormones, including a meal plan. It's pretty much all my 16 years of experience condensed into one fucking book. You're also going to get free copies of any future edition. So visit team3dalpha.com and you can use the 40% off coupon code Nucleus of Lord. Or you could just buy the shit at full price. All right, guys, I'm out of here.